Working on the Still Over It project was an incredible experience. We worked on it for about a year and a half recording the project, and it was a lot that I learned as an engineer, um, specifically in working with Summer Walker. Um, she's incredibly talented. Her vocals are incredible. Um, and I mean, it's a lot I can say, but the biggest thing I'd say is just understanding you know, my job even more over the time that we worked on the project just became more and more and more important. So whether it was we needed to use a C800G microphone for this record to capture the feeling or Neumann M149. It just was overall important. Mind you, uh, she this is the follow-up to her also successful album Over It that came out in 2019. So, you know, we wanted to make sure that a lot of the feeling was captured that was also captured on the Over It project. Um, but how, you know, trying to figure out how we can enhance that, you know. Um, and I think we did an incredible job. It's an incredible project. So I feel like normally, you know, when an engineer gives like a memory, it's something like technically going wrong in the studio with an artist or having to recover something. Um, and what's funny is my memory was actually not really anything technical. So I can remember getting a call uh, from my man, Sean Garrett. Sean Garrett was album producer um, of this uh, of this project. Um, and he's like, man, we got a session with Summer. Um we got to, you know, I, I was I was coming up from where I was staying at at the time and we're talking and we're like, man, we need some we need something for her. You know, at this time she's pregnant and we're like, we want to make sure that she's comfortable. So I go to Publix and I have no clue what to buy. I don't know what she's eating. I don't know what she's not eating. So I just go in there and I buy so much stuff that I think a pregnant woman would like eat. Like, I don't know. Like, I, I, I got fruits. I got plenty of water, some maybe some snacks, and I just remember that being like the biggest challenge like was just trying to figure out what should I bring to this session before we even start recording any vocals so that she feels comfortable. It is so extremely hard for me to pick a favorite um record from this project like so many of them are just so near and dear to my heart, but if I had to pick one, it would definitely be. Constant BS. Constant BS is just literally packed um, vocally. It is so many harmonies. It is, you know, there's answers, so many stacks. I can remember us upgrading um, Pro Tools to Pro Tools Ultimate just to get some more tracks. And then that not even working because we don't have enough RAM to even run the amount of vocals. And we had we added strings. It was so much going on that we had to get a new computer. Um, but yeah, that's my favorite record, man. It's just so, so beautiful. It's, it's so well put together and her lead vocal is just so strong and so much behind it, um, which I think is kind of, um, related to, you know, the emotions that we have as people, you know, like sometimes we can be a little bit all over the place, but it's so much beauty and organized chaos, you know? Um, so yeah, constant BS for sure. Being a part of this project truly is everything to me. There's so many relationships that I gained, whether that be with Summer Walker herself um, or Sean Garrett or even the guys over at LVRN um, that, you know, we continue to do incredible things together, working with each other as a family. Um, and even the opportunities that I've received as an engineer or even as a producer, you know, outside of the project, after the project, um, it's just incredible. It's just endless and it's still going. I think... You know, we truly made a classic album and I'm just happy to be a part of it and just pushing the narrative of R&B being here, being present and it's not going anywhere. It just feels incredible to do that and be a part of a story um, like that. So, yeah.